Hi, I'm John Matthews, the Director of Stewardship for the North American Division of Seventh-day Adventist. I'm the author of the lesson, Stewardship, Motives of the Heart. It is one of the most fascinating experiences I've ever had as far as writing. It's probably the most important task I've ever had assigned to me. So I want to share with you my passion. First of all, what does Lot's wife and Jesus have in common? There's a text in the Bible, it just simply goes like this. Where your treasure is, that's where your heart will be. Your heart always follows your treasure. A treasure doesn't follow your heart. The treasure of Lot's wife was in Sodom. The treasure of Jesus is on earth, and it's you and me. His heart followed after his treasure. But he's got some competition in this world. This is, this is just absolutely chaos down here. Let me introduce to you the only competitor Jesus has. It's in this form. Here's a hundred dollar bill. This is what I call brain candy, but it's just a cheap artificial sweetener. This is the God of this world. Actually, it's a facade Satan hides behind so you can't see him. If this is the God of this world, materialism is its religion. What is materialism? It's stuff. I want stuff. Now, the United States has a lot of stuff, but the rest of the world is catching up real, real fast. Money's the God of this world. Materialism is its religion. Consumerism is the sanctuary that we gather in to worship. The line between culture and religion is becoming blurred. And then you have television. That's the evangelistic arm of materialism. If you don't believe me, you can just go back to about 1955 and you will see the per capita of giving start to go down year after year after year. Then you have the prosperity gospel. Then you have narcissism. That's where I think I am something that I'm not if I have this stuff. Then you have hoarding. That's where I blend my identity with all my possessions. I want my identity blended with Jesus. What's the antidote for all of this chaos? Some people say it is giving and I want to take issue with that. I suggest to you that the giving, that the antidote is not giving, but it is Zechariah 4, verse 6. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. I could unpack that, but let me tell you what both of those words really mean in this story. My dad came home from church. We were sitting at the table eating. He said, Johnny, did you see the man I baptized? I said, yes, daddy. He came out of the baptistry and he said, Hey, preacher, the water didn't hurt my money. And my dad said, Why did you bring your money into the baptistry? And the man turned and he says, I wanted my money converted. In a world of financial chaos where wealth influences us so much, is your money converted?